Hi everyone, it's Annandal. I'm going to do a body review on this long sole body that I have. This is on Adley. Um, she's a Wistol Kathy head in uh, Real Skin UV Resin. That's this head here. And this is the new body I got her. I switched out her Wistol body with this new long sole body. This one is the long sole 42.5 centimeter girl body. Um, B-G42-03. So this is um, Long Soul's third quarter scale um, female body. It is in the wheat slash real skin resin. In, in different websites, um, they, they call the option wheat skin and other websites they call it real skin. Um, and I will show you um, what that resin color difference looks like in a bit. Uh, a few notes. Like I said, this is, I don't have a long sole head. This is a Withdall Kathy head that I've got. I bought, I purchased the body off of Mint, uh, not Mint on Card. I purchased the body off of Alice's collection in June, the beginning of June 2016. And the body was shipped to me from Alice's collection on November 2016. So it took about um, five months. Yeah, five months. So... I'm going to get her undressed and we'll see what the body looks like. I'll also be taking off the head. Um, I mean, if you're curious, the for just for the with doll Kathy head, um, the head movement is pretty good from side to side. Down, it's really good. The, the one that's lacking is when she looks up. So this is her looking straight forward and then it's just very slight looking up. Usually, if I want her to look up, I'll just tilt her chest piece back, so that helps. Um, oh, as well as um, another note about the head. The Withdall Kathy head that I have here is a 6 to 7 inch head, and the other company heads from Long Soul that are supposed to go on this body, they're about 7, eight, seven to 8 inch, like the, I would say like a mini fee head. Some of the mini fee heads are seven to eight inches. Um, so her head does look smaller in proportion to the style that Long Soul meant to go on this body. So those are just a few notes. Um, so now I'm going to pause here so I can get her undressed and like I said, I'll be removing her head. Before I take off the Withdall Kathy head completely, here's the, um, the six, seven inch Withdall head on this Long Soul neck. Um, so the head that this body is supposed to have, the long sole heads, like, um, for example, Wan Wan. So since she's, a, like, her cream's a little, a little larger for that 7-8 inch size. Um, so in this hybrid, her head is smaller compared to the width of her shoulders. It does make her look more mature than what Wan Wan looks like, if you look at the company photos. That's just something to... If, you, if you're planning on using this body for a hybrid. Um, and here's that with doll real skin UV resin. And this is that long sole wheat slash real skin. Um, this is an environmental resin. You can ask long sole or Alice collection and mint on card, I believe it was. They have the option if you want to request to not have an environmental resin. Um, I, I believe that's still an option. I read that on one of their websites before. But yes, this is an environmental resin. Um, other companies that I have environmental resin is Ringdoll, um, which is it's really smooth. It's, it feels different than my Soul Doll body and my my mini fee my mini fee guy. Their resin is has a different texture than this type of resin. So now I'm gonna finally take her head off. So here is an overall view. I'm just going to share this. Uh, my favorite part of this body is just the the way this torso looks. Um, it's what I needed for the character. I have her wearing the the heeled feet here. So she comes with her regular feet, which are these flat feet, and she comes with the extra heeled feet, which I have her wearing now. The other extra portion that she has. Um, is one fisted hand and this is the left hand so 
I know other companies provide extra hands sometimes with their with their dolls or with their bodies, but for this long sole um, body and for this any doll from long sole with this body, it's just the one fisted hand. Um, and actually, while we're on the subject of hands, we can start there. So this is what the hand looks like. It's got little dimples, which are adorable. Um, although I will note, I keep her with her with doll hands, um, typically. I put these back on for this review, but I like to keep her with the with doll hands. I just prefer this, this hand. These are beautiful to me. As well as this, the magnetic ball that can be removed. It makes changing her clothes a lot easier. Um, so these hands do not have that. It's just the regular um, small S hook in there. And the only part where I have hot glue is in these wrists because of those with doll hands. No other portion has it for now. So both hands look like this. They are mirrors of each other, so they're not, um, one is not slightly different than the other. They both um, are exactly the same, just on opposite, opposite hands. Um, to me, that's a drawback of this body and the reason why I did choose to go ahead and hybrid with the with doll hands, I prefer to have them one hand do not be the exact same as the other one. But they are beautiful hands, I think. The fingernails are slightly long, you can see there. So they are very feminine with that slightly longer nail. I'm sorry if you can hear the music outside the window. It's my neighbor. Um, so the hand, let's look at that. So like I said, there's a little bit of hot glue in there, which makes it stick out a little bit. Uh, I think this movement here, pushing the hand back, that's very good. It's like almost 90 degrees forward. Uh, okay, it's decent. Then got side to side, which is not great, but it doesn't need to be great. But that's that. This is the elbow joint here. It's a little peanut that's revealed. It's very thin there. And this is what it looks like, the double jointed engaged. I do think um, it's a really easy, if you have the elastic inside at what you want it to be, it's very easy to engage the double joint with one hand. For me, I have that problem with my other dolls. I have to use two hands to engage the double joint. Those darn sirens. Here at the shoulder, it has the, the ridges in the armpit so that it can snap at the various degrees. There. Oops. I've got gravity fighting against this. Um. So that's there on both armpits. Um, I would recommend putting like a silicone grip or some sort of hot glue or suede in there to help. Mostly it's this upper portion. Um, because it'll snap to the ridges, but depending on, like for now, I've got her parallel to the ground, it wants to do, it wants to fall back that way. I think just a little bit of hot glue up here, where that would help with, so that it doesn't just, it'll stay like that, but doesn't always want to keep turning that way. The ridges are also, um, here inside the knees, which I will show you later. Going down, um, this is the small chest piece. There's two options for this body, the small and the medium size. Um, the small size, uh, obviously the breasts are smaller, but also if you look on the company photos and you can kind of see it here, there's a little hint of ridges for the rib cage. So a little bit of that um, sculpting there for the rib cage and smaller breasts is the difference between those two chest pieces. There's this chest joint here. There's a little lip here. And I'd say it's uh, pretty good. There's also, you see here, it's got the lip has another indent right here so that it can hold it there. In the front, I've got just a clean lip here. 
Is this from side to side? Um, she came to me extremely, extremely tight. It would, it would have been, it was really difficult to do this movement to try to like pop her out and make her bend at this chest joint. Um, I don't know if they always do that, but I would highly suggest restringing if you find them, especially from long soul. She was the strongest, like scary, 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 um, tightly strong, that kind of heart panicking type of st stringing done to her. So I would highly recommend um, changing that out. Um, here, she's got no, that, that second joint, she doesn't have that. I think her belly button is the most adorable thing ever. Um, here is the, oops, the hips. Sorry for the resin dust. Um, she's got that little shelf here at the top of the hip so that when she sits, it's got that there. And then she's got the swivel joint here. There is something um, weird with the swivel joint here at the thigh. You see these two indents and if you look this way inside the actual leg piece there's this little see that n notch there it can get stuck inside that that slot for the elastic and then it also once it enters one of these i'm sorry for my nails uh enters that slot there it'll be relic it'd be confined to that slot un unless you pop it out and so that it can reach this other slot and that's the only way for it to swivel that way is for like pulling it out making it switch to the other slot before it can do that type of movement so for me when i want her to i usually focus on swiveling from up here i think the hole for elastic is big enough so that it can allow for that movement Here is the knees. Here's when it's closed. So again, it's got this reveal in the peanut. Here's at 90 degrees. And so it is also double, double jointed like the, like the arms. And of course, um, they're very good at um, doing the left and right for this, for this body. Here's a double joint engaged. Um, you can probably hear it. See here that we've got the ridges in there. Here's the back of the legs. Um, she is good at when she's got her double joints, she can sit on her knees really well straighten her torso out. She's really good at that. Um, she's really good, these legs, because of um, here at the hip, you don't have to solely rely on this swivel joint at the thigh. She can easily sit to her side. And now here's the feet. So like I said, these are the heel feet, but she can she can stand good in the heel feet as well. My favorite part about this body is definitely here at the feet. She can point her toes really well. Um, my other dolls can't point like this at all. So this really helps the this movement that she has with her feet because she can point. Um, it really helps for certain poses, especially when she I want her to do a more complex sort of stand. So this is her pointed out all the way here at the top. She's got a little bit movement there, but not a lot, but that's that's not a an issue. But this is really important to me here. She can go in a little bit more than she can go outward. But yeah, I think this pointed toe is really um it's really changed the way I can pose Adley because of that. So when she sits at 90 degrees, um, there is, let's see here, you do need to sometimes um, 
pull her leg out. So here I've got her straight, and now I just want her to sit like that. Um, you'll notice in the movement, her legs want to pop out like that before they can finally go back to 90 degrees. Let's see, it's kind of doing that. I think, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, I believe it's a combination of the way this hole is drilled. It gets caught in those two sides, the elastic, when it, when you want to do the sitting the leg at 90 degrees. But she's really, I think because of that as well, um, once you have her at 90 degrees, she will stay like that really, really well. So that's just one thing to notice. You have to, her legs have to bow out before they can come back in to switch from 180 to 190. See, I'm not sure if I'm capturing that well on the camera, but when you, when you hold her and make her sit down, you can definitely feel the legs start to bulge out a little bit and then come back inwards. Um, so overall, I, actually this is um, my best posing body, and like I said, there's only the hot glue at the wrist, um, and once you get her at the elasticity that you want, um, she's she's great. And I'm, I'm really excited actually to add just some hot glue a little bit to her ankles, um, and here at the shoulders, and possibly here at the chest joint, uh, and some here at the hip. That's going to just, I, I believe, it's going to make her the definite best poser among all the bodies that I own. Um, so, last thing, I'm gonna start getting her dressed. I'll start, I'm going to talk about um, actually clothing because of this, it's mostly this area here at the hips. She's extremely thick compared to, um, let's say, a mini fee body. And most definitely my whiff doll body, that one is a twig compared to these hips. Um, I can actually have her wear SD skirts. She can wear SD skirts around these hips and they won't fall off. They're, they're, they're good there. Um, when I have her at wearing slim, slim mini, bottoms like skirts they'll tend to go here at the, the thinnest the thinnest circumference of this lower of this um, lower torso so it'll be up here right above her belly button for example the skirt will want to rest here the SD skirts will come a little bit lower about here so they're not as high-waisted um, so that's one thing um, this body wears a combination of I would like to say slim mini clothing regular MSD clothing, and you also have the added option of SD clothing, um, depending on what the material is. So that's something to think about um, if you're interested in this body, is finding clothing. The type of material, most definitely, whether it has its own elasticity to deal with this girth, is is something to think about. So even if you have, like, let's say a mini fee dress, um, it's true that it might, there might be a chance that it'll have a hard time coming over these hips, but depending on that material, it still might work. Um, but honestly, I've, I've not been having any trouble. I, she wears mostly skirts, so the skirts, whether they fall up here or down here, is not a big problem to me. Um, in the top area, I'd say all the mini fee size tops, they're, they're pretty good. My with doll body was able to wear bunny nine tops, but this one is not able to wear them, um, depending on what that material it's made out of is, which I don't mind since I also have a bunny nine body. So yeah, I'm gonna get her back dressed. Um, but yeah, that's the review. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I don't usually do reviews, so if I miss something, feel free to ask a question. I'll do my best to answer that as clear as possible. But I do highly recommend this body. Um, so hopefully comparison video for my Unoa body, my Solo Vito body will be next. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.